Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower readings. This is just a quick reading or a short reading about the Lion's Portal, which happens every year on August the 8th. Contrary to what you probably have heard, it is not a multi-day event. It is not a portal that opens for days on end. That is all, well, bollocks, because it's not astrologically true. What is true is that the 8th of the 8th, well, August the 8th, is called the Lion's Gate Portal because it is the only double number that happens um, in the sign of Leo. Leo is governed by the sun. <clears throat> so, and on the 8th, which is the only double number then, which is known as a minor master number, because again, astrology is very closely related to numerology. In the numerology, only 11 and 22 are master numbers because only they would fit into a calendar. What is important here is because it is a double number of any kind, um, it opens up and allows us to aid the energy of the moon because it is the moon's energy that is affecting us more than the lion's energy or Leo's energy or the sun's energy, for want of a better word. So let me just explain to you how this all um, works together in the year of 2023, because the Lion's Gate portal on August the 8th, again, one day event, <clears throat> obviously, <coughs> just so happens that it coincides with the last quarter moon or the last quarter moon phase. Now, the last quarter is actually, you know, the moon phases can be quite uh, um, weird uh, to explain and because they're not really, um, you know, make a lot of sense depending on how you look at them. The last quarter moon, because the word last in it, it sort of feels like we're coming to an end of something and we are, but not really. <laughs> because the last quarter moon is literally only the second phase after the full moon. And it is the phase just before, if that makes sense. So the last quarter moon is not the phase where everything goes dark. It is the phase right before the moon falls back into darkness again. Or falls back into a phase where there is more darkness than light, if that makes sense. What that therefore means is that because the moon is falling back into darkness, oftentimes people feel, and this is the last quarter moon's energy, by the way, um, that the world or the burdens of the world sit on your shoulder. But that's because you have just had that rush of a full moon. Right? And now um, we're going into darkness again. Now, it is important to say that obviously the, um, the, the first of two full moons in August happened on the 1st of uh, August 2023. And now we are, we're, we're, on, we're, at the, we're at the eighth day of, um, of August when we hit um, the... the the Lion's Gate portal and the last quarter moon. What's happening is this. Because the moon is falling back into darkness, it tends to be, energetically speaking, a time where while there is a portal of opportunity opening, not everybody gets it because there is this state of confusion. Hence the idea is look at the energy of, eighth, of 8 and 8, August the 8th, and do something with it. So it is more like a reminder that your attitude towards it is what creates opportunities because as the moon falls into darkness again, instead of being panicking that the sun 
is no longer there <coughs> in a roundabout way because that's not true it happens in the sign of leo leo is governed by the sun so that kick ass energy of the sun is there for as long as leo works and leo is in full swing until august the 23rd when it moves into virgo so it's not the end of the world for the last quarter um moon phase uh, to go into a more well darker phase if that makes sense so again it's not um as difficult the point is that that the energy is we're going from full strength to all of a sudden being in that space of oh i feel like i'm on my own you're not you're not on your own what it affords you that lion portal uh lion's gate portal is for you to get a break from too much sun get a break from too much power too much in your faceness um and it is the first energy in leo that allows you to have a quiet moment a more quiet time and understand that stillness is a source of great strength because here's what happens look at it logically so you're blinded by the light right <laughs> in you know mythology terms right so mythological terms so obviously leo is governed by the sun so the sun is everywhere right so it's summer height of summer and now all of a sudden it goes boom and goes dark again so there's a bit of oh what the heck is going on here and that is why the confusion happens in like oh my god i can't see a thing what am i supposed to do here it is all in the eye of the beholder now what is the first thing that one should be doing when you move out into the sun into a space of darkness well what happens is the sun has just hit you so you have all these weird um you know lights in your eyes if that makes sense so you, so there is no real darkness it's just you know you have been hit by light so you open you close your eyes then you notice everything is dark what you should be doing is to stop being as frantic as i just talked right i just did that for effect and i understand that the only option you really have is to get used to and acclimatized to the calmness that that sits inside the darkness the stillness that sits inside the energy of august the 8th now i have a little book here that i uh, often times use <clears throat> in my in my in my uh, my work and it is actually called the element encyclopedia of birthdays by teresa chung you know um it's an awesome book anyway so she has a mantra for all those born on august 8th regardless of whether or not these people or that person knows about the lion's gate portal or whatever year they they're born into because every day has an energy now the energy for august 8th according to teresa young in her book here says true inspiration arises from the still silence within me that is the mantra for people born on the august of 8th according to that author true inspiration arises from the still silence within me and it fits with what is happening in astrology because in astrology the moon falls back into darkness but it's not quite there yet because the last quarter moon is that phase where there is almost equal light right before we're moving into into darkness if that makes sense so um it is not being annoyed by maybe feeling a bit cut off from stuff here is how this all works this is the advice what to do on august the 8th is literally to treat it as though it would be a new moon because we're heading to the moon, to the new moon so we have the 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 good fortune of having some light still being there and then more more darkness coming in so you're going from i've seen something i have understood something to now let me sit with it that's what is happening at the lion's portal is a time of taking a breather becoming calmer and then manifest what you do now 
when you go back in time, when people looked at the Lion's Gate portal as an energy, the energy would be that you meditate and manifest over a candle, but you would only manifest and meditate over one candle because you're falling back into darkness. So you're not trying to illuminate the dark space, you're trying to sit in it. You only had that one light because it is easier for us as humans to not be quite so scared when there is absolutely no light, right? And we have, obviously, uh, people who do astrology um, have already understood that one of the strongest energies that we have is the new moon. Because the new moon, which means there is no, no light, um, is the time where we really manifest uh, full, full swing, full power. And again... This is the last quarter moon on, on August the 8th, 2023. It's not, a, it's not a new moon. There's still some light coming in. The point is that what can happen to people on October, sorry, on August the 8th, as we feel the energy of that Lion's Gate portal, which is basically the only double number in Leo. And it gives us a glimpse out of the sun into the darkness, which is the opposite of light, right, if that makes sense, but opposites are not always negative, it is just another side to existence, right, there can't be any shadow without light, see, see what I mean, so nothing here is negative, so if you hear somewhere that it is negative and you have to uh, prepare, that's all made up bullshit to scare you, and there's lots of religious texts all over the fucking globe that do just that. You do this, you rot in this place, it's all rubbish. In astrology, none of this has a bearing, none of this has a place. So why entertain it? You entertain it because oftentimes we were told, right? And there is a certain truth to this, I suppose, right? When you were, when you were a kid, right? Don't go into the cellar. There might be someone hiding in the dark. I get that. These people were trying to protect you, right? But darkness, by default, if you go into a space where there is no idiot with an axe sitting there trying to do harm, darkness is just another place, just like light is. And when you go there, just this feeling, oh, it's just another space, and because I'm not bombarded by, by, um, by visions, right? Um, I can use that energy to order my thoughts, to centralize my, my thoughts, to calm down my breathing. And if you really wanted to, look at one light only and manifest. So this is the time where manifestation works the best. But in all fairness, it is not the most powerful time, despite the fact that everybody talks about the, uh, the, the August 8th phase. I want to just talk about it because it is not that it's not powerful, but what I don't like is this hyping it up to um, this massive event. Um, yes, to be fair, when it comes to uh, history, um, the... The, the glimpse that is allowed is a glimpse into the past, oftentimes it is related to the Akashic Records, so I'm not knocking any of this, right? But the Akashic Records is just what has happened already, right? This is your end, end what you agreed to. So you have just get a glimpse of things to either come or things that you have already been through. So nothing is supposed to be scary, right? All I'm saying is I, I obviously... <clears throat> looked at some other videos that are out there about it and then I thought, you know what, I think I probably should record some, some video here myself because um, it is not a scary place to be at all. But it is also not the most powerful moon phase. The most powerful moon phases are still full moon and new moon. Now, the four phases of the eight phases of the moon that really affect us are the, the full moon, the new moon, the first quarter moon, which is uh, this, uh, this time where, um, you know, issues are showing up. 
and the last quarter moon, which is what this is. It, it coincides with the last quarter moon, where um, sometimes you feel a bit burdened and a bit lost. And all that portal does is to show you that there is nothing to be worried about and where you feel there is nothingness and there is just never-ending darkness. That portal says, no, 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 no. Look, there's energy there and there's energy here. Things will continue. You are going to be fine. But the point is, on August the 8th, what you really should be doing is to understand that your real strengths on that one day, not two day, whatever, whatever is out there, uh, it has got no bearing to the astrological truth, right? And therefore, to the true energy that is floating about. So it's a one day event. Um, so what you what you should be doing is to be as calm as you can. Write down if you want what you want to manifest. Maybe write down what you want to release, um, and then burn it. And give it back to the universe. Let it transform. That's a good use for the one candle that you're using. Well, I'm showing two thumbs for the one candle that you're using, and that's what the eighth of eighth of August is about. The lion is telling you, look at all the strengths I have, but sometimes I can be a bit much. So if you then lie in the shade, right? So the lion oftentimes seeks shade. He's seeking the darkness, if you want to use uh, that sort of language, right? And he knows there's nothing to fear. We are in Leo, governed by the sun, a very powerful um, and a very far-seeing energy, right? So there's no harm coming to you, right? If anybody wants to do damage, they do damage. It doesn't matter what day they do it at. They just make up their mind, I'm going to do damage today, right? So don't make this about the day. There is no negativity on the 8th of August. And at the same time, this is not one of those magic days where you just manifest the shit out of it and everything works. That said, because the energy has a double number, that is still a minor master number, depending on which um, modality you use, if that makes sense, right? Using the, the Lion's Gate portal consciously. So I get it. There's a higher energy inside the, inside the energy of Leo, which is what this is. Um, it just so happens that it coincides with the last quarter moon. And the last quarter moon is the step before we fall into darkness. And sometimes that can confuse people, but there's nothing to be confused about. The so-called darkness is not your energy and it's not your, 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 um, your, uh, your enemy, I wanted to say, right? Always the pump. Every time I record, the pump has something to say. What do you want? Oh, it um, tells me I should probably eat something. So yeah, bugger off. I eat something. Thank you for watching. See you next time.